Hello and welcome to the best of cats by IMS. Let's look at the next question from modern math. Now, what I would suggest here is that you pause this video, attempt this question on your own, and then watch the solution. So we've got a question from computation and combination here, where we have the set of all three digit numbers from 100 to 999, and we want to find out how many of these numbers have at least one digit repeated. We will see two different ways of solving this question. The first method is by listing the cases. Okay, so I'll see that we've got a three digit number. How many numbers can be there, which have all the three digits same? All three digits same. Okay, so like numbers like 111222 up to 999. So for filling the first digit, I have nine options. I can use any of the digits from one to nine. Uh, because zero cannot be used at the first place for a three digit number. Okay. Then second digit and third digit automatically get fixed. Okay. Because I am using all the same digits. So if I put a five in the first place, second place will be filled by five only and third place will be filled by five only. So I have only one choice for second and third place, but I have nine choices for the first place, which means I can form total nine into one into one, nine such numbers where all the three digits are same. And we know that these numbers are 111222 up to 999, which are nine numbers. Now, second type of numbers, which also qualify, are numbers which have two digits same, because I need only one digit, at least one digit repeated. So, which I've got two digits same, and the third digit is different or distinct. So, I've got three digit number. We've got three digit number where two digits are same. Okay, so if I suppose the first and second digit is same, for the first place, I have got nine options. It can take any, any value from one to nine. If I'm presuming the second digit is similar to the first one, it has got only one option. So if I put seven at the first place, I have to put seven at the second place also. For the third place, I have again got nine options. Why nine options? I have already used one of the digits from one to nine in the first and second place. I can't use that digit again for the third place, but I can use zero. I could not use zero in the first place. Now I can use zero. So I've again got nine options for the third place and one option for the second place, which means I can form nine into one into nine, 81 such numbers where the first and second digit is common. But it is not necessary that first and second digit is common. Any two digits can be common. So it can be first, second, first, third, or second, third, which means there are three such possibilities and hence my total number of numbers with one digit common will be 81 into 3, 243. Or you could have also done this as three, three digits can be arranged in three factorial ways because two are common. We should divide by two factorial. So three factorial divided by two factorial. So 81 into 3, 243 numbers where one digit is common and the third digit is distinct. Nine numbers where all the three digits are same. If we add, we get 243 plus 9. 252 numbers where at least one digit is repeated. So my answer will be 252. Now this is one way of solving this question where we have listed the cases. Here it was a short solution because I had three digit numbers but I could, but I could have also had four digit numbers or five digit numbers and then it becomes slightly time taking when we are listing cases. Okay, so let's look at a shorter way of doing the same question now. Uh, whenever you have a question where you have to list cases and multiple cases are possible, we can always solve all such questions by using complement of the situation. So what is the event here that my number should have at least one digit repeated? What is the complement of this? No digits repeated. If no digits are repeated, if no digits are repeated, it means all digits are distinct. All digits are distinct. Now I am forming three digit numbers with all distinct digits. What are the possibilities for the first place? It can take any digits from one to nine. There are nine options. In the second place, I will not be able to use the digit that I used at the first place because I'm looking for all distinct digits, but I can use zero. So again, I have nine options for the second place. Third place, I will not be able to use the digits that I have used in the first place at the second place which means I'm left with eight possible options for the third place, which means how many such numbers can I form? Nine into nine into eight. I can form 648 numbers 
whose all the three digits are different or distinct. 648 numbers with distinct digits. Now, total how many numbers were there in our set? We had a set of all the three digit numbers from 100 to 999, that is 900 numbers. So we had a set of 900 numbers out of 900 numbers, out of 900 numbers, in 648 numbers, the digits are distinct. What does it mean? 900 minus 648 is 252. In the remaining 252 numbers, at least one digit is repeated, which is what we were looking for, which is our answer. Okay, so you can see that compared to listing cases, this is definitely a shorter way of solving the question. Okay, I hope that you understood the question and the two different ways of solving the question. Using complement is always better rather than listing cases. So I hope you understood the question and the two different ways of solving this question. Uh, using the complementary event is always a shorter way of solving the question than doing the cases. Okay, I hope you understood the question. I've got a replica question for you here. Please attempt the question and leave your answers in the comment section.